This work is by Eileen Agar and it's a self-portrait that was painted in 1938. Eileen Agar was a surrealist artist. She met the surrealists in 1928 when she moved with her long-term partner Joseph Bard to Paris and met artists like André Breton. And the surrealists were a huge influence on Agar's work, as you can see by this piece. This self-portrait is quite unusual in that you can't even really see that this is necessarily Agar herself. It's very abstracted and it really shows her development as an artist during the 1930s, looking at both surrealism and also cubism as well, which is very slightly later. If we have a little bit of a closer look at this work, you can see that Agar has used a number of different colours. This is a really, really diverse palette that she, she's used for this painting. You can see her face here in profile looking this way, and it's almost as if she's throwing her head back, her hair spiked up and sort of almost in movement. It has a look to it that almost speaks as being a textile or you know, a patterned fabric. You can see it sort of alongside works by artists like Enid Marks or other textile designers. And yet within this work, even though it has that almost stenciled quality to it, you can also see that she's doing something slightly different. She's still experimenting in her work, even though this is a slightly more mature piece for Agar. You can see here that she's actually scratched into the paintwork. She's used possibly the handle of her paintbrush, so she's turned her paintbrush around, or maybe a, you know, the back of a pen or something like that, and she's scratched into the black paint that was probably still wet when she did it. And it really shows this colour coming through from behind, through the black paint. Eileen Agar was really good friends with artists like Mary Fedden, whose work is also in our collection at Pallant House. And Mary Fedden described Eileen Agar as always a surrealist throughout her life. Mary Fedden and um, her husband, Julian Trevelyan, also visited Agar a number of times. And Julian Trevelyan actually described Agar's house when he stepped into it as being like a surrealist painting in itself. All of the surfaces were covered with interesting and different objects. The paintings seemed to merge into, into each other. And, and two years before this self-portrait was painted, she was selected to be one of very few women artists to be included in the International Exhibition of Surrealists that took place in London in 1936. Just before her work was selected, Roland Penrose and Herbert Reed, who were two art historians in the 1930s, came to look at her work in her studio and they described her work as having extreme talent and they were enchanted by this raw talent that Agar was showing in her studio and in the works that she was producing.